Hello, my amazing Aquarius. Welcome. Welcome to Robin's Realm Readings. Welcome back if you're coming back. I thank you so much. I love you. Okay, a couple announcements, Aquarius. I'm, I'm doing a special um, for anyone that goes to my Etsy shop and orders any of my sacred bath, bath salts or bath sprays. Attract love and, and and these are beautiful. Attract love and abundance to yourself. Special attraction blend. Ancient, beautiful scents that are gorgeous and they're blended to bring you into a state of attraction. I use this around my face. I call in everything that is intended to me. I call love, make myself much more visible and receptive to kind, loving energies and money. Yep. And I it, it works. It's beautiful. Then I have clear bad energy, comes with an obsidian. Oh, yeah. Sacred sages with dragon's blood and a few other really sacred smells in there. Kick the heck out of that negativity. And then anoint yourself to do spiritual work or to protect your space with an amethyst. This is what I use to do my readings. Anoint. I spray over each shoulder and over the top of my head. Sometimes I get all elaborate about it. I call on the Ascended Masters. I call on the Higher Minded Guides. I call in energies of love, healing, and kindness. The benevolent beings that wish the wellness upon us and support us in getting it, in getting to it and maintaining it. This is what I'm working with. Okay, Aquas, let me get a quick drink of water and then I shall be right back. I keep hearing There will be an answer Let it be 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 Okay Whisper words of wisdom Let it be All right, kids, I've been doing a lot of talking, but this time it's for you. Anyone who goes and orders anything between now and December 15th on my Etsy shop, I have a beautiful message for you. Your name will get put into a drawing. You'll be getting, um, you'll be getting notified a little more uh, um, when the box is completely put together. I'll take photos of it and send it out to you. It's going to have incense, crystals, sages, bath salts, bath sprays. It's going to be a complete set and it'll come in this size box. It'll be completely packed. And in fact, my girlfriend, my 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 friend is a crystal. Um, she is a professional jeweler, crystal. She sells crystals and such. She's gonna make for my box a beautiful citrine necklace to put in it, custom made by um, Annie. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what we called her what her business is but right now I've been dealing with so much business that oh my gosh okay so thank you for staying with me I really appreciate all your gifts all your donations if you'd like to donate there are a couple of links in the box below I recommend that you would use those should you want to you know support my work I love you with all my heart and I've been here since 2018 Yes, indeed. Yeah, I've been here a long time. I've seen all kinds of stations, people, channels, messages. I've been watching the trends. They're freaking weird. The hardest part is keeping up with Google's changes and YouTube. But, you know, if you like somebody, you like them. I feel like you were called in to be here with me, uh, Aquarius. My dear, calling on the energies of air, fire, water, earth, ether, Holy Spirit, energies of the Christ, I want to say the unity prayer of protection. I am a 12-stepper. I understand that it was very crucial for me to work to work the plan so that I understood myself and I took accountability and responsibility for myself, having dealt with many, many, many alcoholics and weird, strange things. I needed to know myself, so I went through the 12-step program for Al-Anon for Alcoholics Anonymous. And it was just because of the way that I turned out from being exposed to that junk. And so there is help. There's help. There's hope. There's hope. Okay. If you don't look at it as condemnation, if you look at yourself as a whole, 
being full of love light, wanting love light, deserving love light. You're the only one who can produce it though. You know, you have to put yourself in an environment, in a mindset where it that's just natural for you. You're no longer feeling lousy about your life or the addictions or any of that. And you get stronger, you can kick the hell out of the demons that try to destroy you. You know? Aquarius, I don't know where that came from. I'm a channeler and I love you with all my heart. Archangel Michael, I require your presence at this time. Protect this reading. Protect everyone who hears it. Protect this space. Put a hedge of protection around us. Thank you so much that you have done this for us. We expect to be accessing good information for Aquarius, Sun, Rising, Venus. Crosswatchers are welcome. My readings, of course, are not gender specific unless they are. In this case, they're not. They're about Aquarius in the middle of October and what's happening in and thank you for being patient and kind with me. Every single thing you've done for me has been really cool. I have some cool friends. I made Aquarian friends just by having this channel. And by the way, um, if you want to support me on an even greater level, you can go and um, donate a little bit to the Patreon account. And anytime I upload anything, you will get it in your email. And... Um, I upload videos, not my videos, other people's videos, updates on my happenings, my families, my specials, um, readings, um, group readings, and uh, personal readings. And I give away four, free, uh, three free readings a month and a beautiful gift every month, one way or another, crystals, cards, incense, sprays, oils, bath salts, whatever I feel like, whatever God wants me to give you, I put in that box. And I've been faithful for two years doing that. So join me on Patreon.com and qualify for free readings. Okay, everything's below. So the, what is with this? I don't know why I did that. Okay, here we go. Master number 33 is an ascended number. Someone has opened your heart. Someone is out of jail or someone is free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Ascension. Next level. What else is going on for my Aquarians, please? Okay. As the same thing Capricorn got, but not in the same position. This is finally, finally, finally getting out of this. Look at that. Look at, look at the shape of this, too. The dome. Someone has been opened up. Something has been opened up. This is where there were blockages to your to your security and safety and your healing and your romance. And here it is all opened up now. You did it. The divine has opened up something for you. Let's keep going, spirit. I can read anything in reversal. Yep, clearly. Here we go. Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me Aquarius's message, please. Yep. Death. Endings. Changes. Many diamonds would be nine of swords, which would represent someone who's gone through an incredible amount of stress, incredible amount of fear, and they're processing that fear, and they're facing that fear, and they face that fear, and they get ascension, and they go, wow, that was difficult, but guess what? I can see it clearly now. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. If you're going for a business loan, you're going to get it. If you're going for something to do with business or the government or money or school or education, education loan, this is, um, yeah. And also you might get a chance to travel with what you do as well. Move. Six of, six of swords is movement, a peace of mind. You're going to get abundance here. This is abundance and good luck. Ooh, snap. I do love that. I do love that. Oh, yeah. Show me more for my aquas. Ah, at the wishing well. Praying for change. Yes, that's exactly what that is. Digging into the well of life. Put, dropping down that bucket to see what comes out. You have to put something in the bucket as an offering. A crystal, a prayer, a coin. Just the way that I heard it. Drop it down in that bucket first. You want to make an offering first. Then you get something back. 
that's why it's always good to donate to my channel because you get I consider that as a tithe and when it's a tithe God says yep I'm gonna give them increase because they're increasing you and I am elect and chosen so if you go about it that way you are very blessed I guarantee you I carry good energy because yes I can be harsh and I can deal with darkness trust me I have I've been under psychic attack actually demonic attack this whole last year but I've had people from Gaia help me to clear that out and also myself so I don't know who did it but I, I'm pissed I think I know who did it but they're gone now yeah, see? What was eating away at you is gone now. What was eating away at your resources was someone who was underhanded. They were not coming at you in the proper way. And so Spirit said that you had, you had to see this for yourself. This person was compromising you, compromising your life, compromising your understanding, compromising your supply. Digging into that well when you have fortune right in front of you, abundance, more please. But there you are. You're thinking back on all this stuff, but you're going by your higher mind, your cosmic mind. Many of you have stepped into your positions of teaching, healing, holistic work. You are very beautiful and you are truly following your true north right now. Yeah, let's see. Use a tarot for my wonderful Aquarians. First things first, we're looking at that opening, the labyrinth being opened right after discovering that you're out of mental and spiritual jail. Lovers in reverse. Someone walking away from a lover that just wanted, you know, they only wanted what they wanted, and they wanted everybody else at the same time. So God opened that door for you. Could have been a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, there was no hope there. Four of coins, four of cups, is someone that really, really doesn't know how to love. They really are not ready for love, and they really should not be in a relationship with someone. There's just too much. So you're getting rid of that. This is them. And you're like turning that around and going, no. No, 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 no. My soul is going to heal, and indeed it does. Show me, spirit, what the death card is for Aquarius. Queen of Coins. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this person could be an earth sign that you ended a relationship with. Doesn't have to be earth. It has to be somebody that was married and didn't tell you. Oh, yeah. Or you knew about it or something. Something wasn't right here. This is the Nine of Swords in reverse. So in order to, um, this person is, they, they're always stressed. They're always worried. They're always depressed. They're always talking about things. They don't want to go to God. They don't want to sacrifice their pride. They don't want to listen to what everybody says. So they stay in this state of mind of, what was me? What was me? What was me? What was me? I'll never, 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 never heal. And you're like, I keep telling you what to do, but you won't listen. So you're like, no. You started a whole new, a whole new cycle for yourself and said, no, I can't do this with you. I'm going to start now. So that's what that means. You stood into your high, your high presence, your high self-respect, your faith with God. You're, you're moving forward, but you're not revealing everything because you know what it's like to be in hell and you know what it's like to be in heaven. And you know what it's like to be in the third dimension holding down all this magic. Look at the beautiful love. Look at that. There you go. So this is you guys. Let's see who's a, who is um, showing up. Hmm. Aquarius, let's find out what that person you have dealt, done this with is going to do. Let's find out. Show us, Spirit, what this person is capable of doing. Oh, they want to come forward. They want a new beginning. Oh, yeah. This is a new start, but remember, this is the phallic symbol. Okay, do you want just sex with somebody that could be married? Just a, just a thought, okay? You've done a lot of work on yourself. You've done a lot of medicine work on yourself, too. So why? What? It just doesn't make sense. Keep going, spirit. 
So what is this person most likely to do? Thank you for hitting the like button, you guys. I appreciate it. They're most likely to make a lame offer. Please. I did everything you asked me to. I got rid of this. There's a fish in this damn cup. There's something they're not, they won't be showing you. And it's such a paltry offer. I'm like, are you serious? What else are they likely to do for my Aquarian? So you're forewarned. I'm not doing heavy on the bowls and I'm not doing this. I am doing uh, Palo Santo behind you and in incense, but I'm not doing all the fancy right now. I'll do that later. Right now I wanted to get right to your messages. Plus my darling loves, I have a heavy workload and I'm opening up. And I need your help to open up. Help me with my store. Help me get in on that drawing. I'll be doing a drawing on December 15th, depending on what day that is. I will be doing a live video where I will be giving everybody's name that's in the drawing, or at least the last part of their initial. And then I will tell you who won the gift box for Christmas, a complete holistic gift box, including a free reading. All right? So... We're going to see, I mean, healing the heart, clearing the space, and getting into your magnificent, holistic person that you are. That is the goal of my gift box. Yeah, they're likely to come forward and want sex and not be committed. Mm -hmm. That's so, it just makes me crazy. All right, what are you going to do about it? You're going to remember the bullshit. You've been past it already. You're done. You're going to remember the pain that that brought you, that lack of commitment, those, the worry. They always brought worry to you. All the, all the uh, taking your kindness for weakness. And now you're like behind it. They've got to deal with that. If they were married and seeing you and they were doing bad things in the relationship, um, you know, that's the point. Now, you're starting brand new. I am so proud of you. This is where you get to choose what your life is going to be like and how you're going to be in it. You're going to watch your step, though, because you got a spirit guide down here saying, please, don't go off that bridge. Don't go off. Don't. Just that one next step could hurt you. Okay? But this person has um, the ability to start over. So that's you. Nice. And guess where you're going? Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, happiness, happiness, ha happiness, and abundance. Fabulous. Now, who might be coming forward for my aquas at this time? Sorry, I got to turn on my fan. It gets warm in here and it gets cold in here and it gets warm in here and it gets cold in here. Thank you. Then it gets warm in here and it gets cold in here. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Beautifuls. Who's coming for you? I need to know. Who is coming to show love to, Ca to Aquarius? Sorry if I flub up. I'm really tired these days. I don't know why. Here we go. One minute. Let me take off my thing. Lord have mercy. All right. Aquarius, someone rising Venus North Node. Who's coming to show love to you? I had to take off my sweater and open on the pen. Sorry. Here we go, loves. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're, somebody's about to get really wealthy. They're about to have this new offer. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God says, absolutely, yes. Archangel Michael had to separate you from a wicked person that was just taking advantage or someone who just didn't know how to heal yet. But you do. You're getting victory. And there's going to be communication coming soon. Yes. We have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yep. It takes a bit for them to get to you, but oh my God, when they come, they are committed. And these people work. He's got a workhorse. He's a workhorse kind of guy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Kind of a workhorse person. Like, I'm going to really put the effort in. I may be slower than you, but I get it done and I love you with all of my heart. That's exactly what I just heard. I think he's a Southern boy, y'all, or girl. You know, because like I said, gender is not specific here, right? 
I want to find out who's working against you. It's my deal. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's working against their favor right now? Who do they need to watch out for? Hmm. Well, you got the world card again. So your focus is on this new star, number one. Okay? It's an ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. We also have uh, the person from the past um, that hasn't quite learned yet, but they're going to be. The, the Ten of Swords is the end. So that person from the past may be working against you in the energetic fields. Let's see. I don't want that on top of there. Okay. What's this? Working against you, a Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're having an out of body because they have no damn choice. After working with an Aquarius, you have no choice but to have go in and go, what the hell was that? Uh-oh, I fucked up. That's what I heard. Okay, so let me share something with you. I'm going to look at this. Um, you could also have a water sign possibly, you know, doing love spells on you. That's what I hear. Or a Leo. A Leo doing love spells on you, possibly. At least talking to the universe about what they want with you. You know, that's kind of what I see. Let's take a peek here. What do we have, Spirit? One more look. Who could be working against my Aquarius? Someone you blocked doesn't want to leave you alone. These are the Vice Versa Tarot deck. You can flip them like this. Front and back, they're really cool. That'd be the deck to get. Vice Versa Tarot. So who else is trying to block my Aquas at this time? They need to know. Who would be blocking my Aquarius at this time? Their progress, their freedom, their love, their money, their power, their businesses, their mind. Someone, oh, blocking you? Like I said, love spells. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly. Trying to do a love spell to draw you back to them. Or draw you to them. Huh. Very cool. Let's see something. Acceptance is the key to your success. And your inner peace. You have to accept things sometimes that you don't like because there's no point in trying to change things that are beyond your control, especially someone who suffers severe, severe, severe mental issues or emotional issues, and they drain the hell out of you and just drain you. You're like, oh, um, love you, but I got to go. You have someone coming. This could be the one. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You also have... Playfulness. Well, it's about time you had some fun. All right, Aquarius. That's good news, babies. Let's see what Ascended Master is guiding you. What is this 33 you're dealing with up here? What is this open of spirituality and clearing of karmic stuff? What is that? Letting things go? Ha ha. Kuan Yin. Be in a peace, letting it be what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. And crystals, using crystals to heal yourself. Carry them. They're very powerful. I mean, your watches have them. Spaceships have them. Cars have them. Computers have them. Crystals are great for your body. Find the blessing in your current situation. That superpowers you to move forward um, on this journey. Wow, you guys, what a great reading. Okay, remember what I said. Go get on the drawing, blessing my channel, blessing my efforts, my shop, um, and join me. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Namaste, Aquas. Bye.